If you're looking for ways to remove or hide your images on Midjourney or the Midjourney website, then today I'm going to show you a couple of quick tricks in order to make that happen. I've had a few people ask me about this recently, so I thought I may as well do a video on it. Now, the first method is in Discord. You see, I have an image grid here of some image I don't want, and essentially, I've upscaled number one here. If I head back to the Midjourney website, you notice I have the original grid and then the upscale. So it's pretty simple if I go back that if I want to get rid of this grid altogether, I can either tap and hold on my phone or if I'm on my computer, come up to the three dots up here. And I have this ready to go up here, but you may not. So you may need to go to add reaction, view more, and then just search for X and you'll see this red X here. I click on that. That grid is now gone. If I head back to the website, I still have the page open, but I refresh the page and that grid is gone. Same again, if I want to get rid of this upscale, I click the X, it's gone from Discord. I go back to the website and refresh again, and it's completely gone from the website. But this method is good for one or two images. However, if you're looking to hide images in bulk, that may not be the best solution. So I have a bunch of images here, and I can go through and remove some of these, hide some of these. But essentially, what I can do is click on one image like this one, Go straight up to these three lines up here and click hide image. And now when I close it, that image is gone from here. But if we want to do it in bulk, what I can do is I can either select the entire day, right click and go hide. Or if I unclick that, I can hold down shift, click one at a time, draw a box, basically multiple select the same way I would if I wanted to come down here and download it. I can also click on more and I can click hide or unhide. So essentially I can hide all of these now and they're gone from my organized page. However, these are not deleted. If you're having trouble navigating your organized area here, which is where we are, this is one way to kind of sharpen that up and make it a bit easier. And if at any stage you want to show those hidden images, you come over the right here to filters and you can tick hidden. And there are all these images here that I have hidden from my organized page just to sort of demonstrate just how easy it is and while i'm here i can right click on an image click this to unhide it or do my same multiple select come down here and unhide here so that's pretty handy so i can untick that and go back and they're still hidden so that is just a quick and easy little way that you can go through and hide certain images in your organized page. But don't forget that you also have the option to come down to the filters here, turn on the ones you've liked, which case is only a few, unrated, which is most of them. I can simply go just to upscale. So if there's any image I've liked enough to upscale, I can really refine down to what I want there and only view the upscales. So consider using this filter a bit more also if you really want to sort of filter out what you need. And of course, you can always do a search or search for create folders if you need to filter even further from there. But coming back to Discord for a moment, if you have one of the higher plans, so one of the more expensive plans, you can go to slash settings. And if you're just simply looking to hide from public people or keep, uh, keep things private, you can turn off public mode. This won't work for me because I only have the $30 a month plan, but essentially you'd press this and anything you create in Discord from then would no longer be public. And you can see here, my current membership doesn't include stealth mode, but it's handy to know we have that option. Otherwise you can simply hide them in the web browser itself. Before we wrap up, I just want to mention also that I am working on a mid-journey course, very comprehensive, hopefully coming out very soon. So if you're interested in checking that out, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, any other questions or comments, leave a comment below about this video. But that's the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, please consider giving it a like. Otherwise, thanks for watching and have a great day.